Yes, sir, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> one day in one facility, 59 units, man. In three hours, dude. You know Johan knows what he's doing. This would be a good time to subscribe, like, and comment. And get ready to grab your seats, because we're fixing to have a blast here. Ain't that right, all? in my way. You want me to run around and grab him, Johan? Got him. Let me go get him. Got him? Got him. Hold on, man. <clears throat> oh, you a spicy bastard, aren't you? Yeah, he is. See that big old tail? <sighs> Wait, grab him. Check out that monster out there swimming in. He's coming in for a landing. See the size of the head on him? Mm-hmm. That shit is big. Yeah, he, he knows that we're standing here watching him. See if you can hook him from the water. I don't know. I'll try it. Stand back a little bit. You can get him, Johan. Hang on. He rolled himself up in that chair. And the reeds. Yeah, he did. You know what he did. You know what he did. <laughs> can you get him? Take a look at this, guys. This is a monster. Man, talk about alpha male right there. Did not expect to him, him to get caught. He came right across this water right here. And he thought that he was gonna get away. Not in this case, we're putting him in the bag. Another alpha male off the subject here and out of the ecosystem. Let's go, Ollie. Imagine if this piece of bark was one. Yeah. Yeah, well, that one that we just caught was pretty, pretty big. That would go just swimmingly. Yeah. He was, uh, he was really big, man. But, you know, 
it's good to get those alpha males out of the population, dude, because those are the ones who are breeding so much. Mm. So, somebody's got to get it. Look at those Egyptian geese. Got some poisonous mushrooms. Not seeing any over here. Let me check out over here one more try. Hang on. Looks like I see something. Here. Is that one sitting there? On the edge of the ground there? Yep. He ain't that big. He ain't going anywhere, he's hooked on the leg. Let him tie her out. Let him tie her out. There you go. Got him? I got him. You got him? Wait. You got him? I got him. I got him. Got him. Hang on, let him tie her up. Got him. Let him tie her up. Oh, there's a leg hammer right on him. I got him. Just hold it right there. Well, he didn't expect me to come. See that? Look at the pattern on that, Ollie. It's beautiful. That's a nice little female. Beautiful. I'll tell you. They get, you know, I, I didn't even see her in in this in this little uh, phase because then she camouflaged herself right here with this tree here. I mean, look at this whole palm from right down here. You know, she camouflaged herself. I didn't, you know, they're a master at this disguise. You know, unbelievable. Let me get a good look. Look at that. Hey, amazing creature. So, I'll tell you guys, if you uh, if you've ever see if you ever see any of these out there, you need to you need to grab a hold of them, guys, because they're producing like crazy. I definitely spotted another one here locally. We're gonna probably have to check, but in the meantime, we're gonna have to go put this one in the bag. We'll be right back, guys.
Where is he, Johan? I don't know. He neither has he ne he neither has a, a, a den down below this, or he got in the water at some point and he swam. But I didn't see any bubbles, so I'm assuming that he's got some kind of den down here in in the bank in Bankman. Oh, Johan, there's one over there by the road. He's going back inside of that. He goes underneath there. Watch, watch, watch him out here. He'll, I'm watching him. He'll jump right inside of that hole. I'll attempt to get him, but I don't think that, that it's going to happen. Let's see. Cause they're going in because it's starting to rain. See how they're going in that hole? Look, he went right in the hole. Look, there's another one right over there. Over where? Right there on the wall. See on the wall? Yeah. Yeah, see they're all heading to that hole. You see, because the weather is starting to change, it's starting to rain. So unfortunately guys, we've been we've been we've been out tricked by the iguana today. Because it was beautiful out and when we came out, now, now look at that one over there. Across the way there. You see him on the wall over there? Oh yeah. I'm gonna try and go around on the other side and try and catch him. Alright? Well that's a nice size junker. Yeah, you, you cut the film until we get that, until I get over there. We'll be right back. Got him. I'm gonna go on the other side, yo. No, just stay right there, hold that film. Guys, as you can see, this little guy here put up the fight. He put up the fight. <laughs> He's something else. This was that one that was across the way there on that ledge, you know. And I told you I'd be right back. Well, this is what happened. I guess obviously you've seen the little bit of footage before this, and uh, he broke the pole. <laughs> he broke the pole, slapping it, slapping half, man. And he ain't even a big one. I, I believe, I believe this might be a female, guys. Yeah, this is a female, you know? So, you know, uh, <laughs> it's something else. Man. Look at this. Hey, how you doing? You do realize uh, you, you got a few questions to answer, don't you? You can't bite me. You bite me and you're in a lot more trouble. So anyway, guys, it's another female off the, off the ecosystem. We're really pleased, really definitely pleased. Listen, if you guys are new, now's the time to go ahead and uh, Hit that little button for like, subscribe, you know, tell a friend. And of course, let us know what you're thinking, man. You know, what? what's your thoughts on, uh, well, first of all, that, that horn that's going off is like driving me crazy. <laughs> what's your thoughts on uh, the iguanas running around Florida, South Florida? I mean, do you oppose, do you oppose of, of them out here? Or, or, or do you mind that, that they, you know, that they're, uh, you know, that they got hunters out here, like, such as people like us that, 
that help the ecosystem and remove them? You know, that'd be a, a good question to ask because, you know, we've been running into a lot of people that, that say, you know, hey, you know, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? You say, well, number one, we ain't doing it because it's fun. We're doing, we're doing it because, you know, our whole ecosystem, everything, and all of the properties down here are getting destroyed from these little buggers. You know, you may think that they're cute, and they, you know, and you may think that they're natural from around here. No, they're not. Unfortunately, man has brought them in a, in the pet trade, and I guess with, with natural disasters and, and the hurricanes and everything like that, where they were being housed, they all got blown out into, you know, the Flor South Florida's uh, waterways. So, I guess what we're having is an overpopulation, because one of, one of these females produce anywhere between, I don't know, 20 and maybe 60 eggs, depending on what size she is. You know, it's unbelievable on, on how fast they reproduce. So, um, got to do something, guys. I mean, you know, and, and plus, you know what? The meat is delicious. These legs taste like chicken. Oh, man, they taste better than chicken wing. Better than a chicken wing. Look, look, look she, she wants to get a hold of me any, any way she can. Um, but, yeah, they taste like chicken wings. Everything on this thing, people eat, you know. Uh, if you if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. You know, I, I've been eating it, and it's low on fat. This this is a good good source of, of uh, meat. You know, and the skin is good. It makes uh it makes uh you know like wallets, uh, boots, and stuff like that. So not everything goes to waste on these things. You know, I don't believe in in killing just to kill. You know, guys, I mean, you, should, you know, if, if it's a nuisance to our environment and it doesn't belong there, you got to thin the numbers out. Otherwise, man, some of the farms down here are taking it, and they're taking it bad. Some of the mango farmers down here, oh, my God, these guys will devastate a mango crop. Will devastate it, you know. It's unbelievable what they do. I can go on and on and on, but we'll catch you on the next clip. And listen, um... Thanks to all you new subscribers that we've been getting every day on a daily. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I appreciate all your comments. Um, we're going to be trying to do a lot of things. But understand, you know, I do a lot of things on my channel. I just don't mess with these guys. I cook. You know, uh, I sometimes deal with fish. I, you know, I go fishing, you know. So, and, and, and also, I'm a fish breeder. So, you know, I'm an aquaculturalist by trade. So, you know, I'll do stuff like that. So, you know, in the future, look for some of that stuff. You know, to all you guys out there that are strictly looking for me to, to get these guys, well, I do get these guys. And, you know, it's more, it's more like to help our environment because I myself, I myself, you know, like a good ecosystem. So, but yeah, I do a lot of things. And, and look, and I look forward to your comments on everything I do. Okay, guys, once again, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. So, as I said, say goodbye, Ollie. Bye. See you next time, y'all, and thanks. And don't forget to hit that button. Are you talking to me? Thank, thank, thanks thanks for hit, you know, hitting that button and subscribing and telling your friends, man. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh, I'm innocent. Oh. See you guys later.